uh-oh, y'all, looks like Doja Cat, a.k.a. my baby mama, is in some hot water. So footage has leaked of her being involved in some chat room with incels and white supremacists where she's laughing and joking with them, using the N-word, and I don't mean with an A on the end, and it's just ugly and kind of questionable. So let's get into it. Doja Cat is a woman who is herself biracial. One of her parents is of African descent. Now, being that as it may, as a woman of color, if you're in a chat room with racists and white supremacists, there's something weird going on upstairs with her. So I think the first thing we gotta check is Doja Cat's mental state, first of all, because I personally enjoy her music, obviously, and I would hate for her to have this Kanye moment in front of everybody at a peak time in her career. Second thing is that we all recognize Doja Cat as a sex symbol. You know, she keep it juicy, juicy. She eat that lunch. And she could be a woman that has many fetishes. And being a child of the internet in Generation Z, she might say, ooh, okay, I can sit down with all these racists and they can call me the N-word and I can say the N-word back and blah, 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 and it's real sexy and steamy for me. Okay, if you like being spat on, that's cool, that's your thing, but I think that we as people of color or anybody with reasonable sense have an emotional response to racism and when Doja Cat is sitting down with these guys, she has the opportunity to correct them, but instead she's engaging with them and indulging in this filth, which is the opposite of being part of the solution. But at the same time, she's kind of disarming a racist or a white supremacist because if she's ha ha and giggling with their racist jokes and their beliefs, then it takes the power out of it. See, I think there is a value if you sit down with someone who is racist or has different beliefs than you to understand, okay, where we can meet in the middle. And I know some of you think, oh, how could we ever like compromise with a racist or even so much as listen to them? Well, you have to just understand where a person is coming from, no matter what their beliefs are and understand why their beliefs are that way, whether you agree with them or not. See, many of these people who belong to these incel chat rooms and identify as being an incel have a deeper mental health issue that we're not recognizing. And Doja Cat had the opportunity to hear these people out and offer aid to them to actually stop a problem and, you know, possibly counter racism in the process, but she didn't. She indulged in the filth with them. So that's where I question her for number one. But for number two, for you guys watching who are on Team Cancel Doja, I think cancel culture is the stupidest shit ever because it basically says, okay, a person can never make a mistake, you can never do the wrong thing if you're a public figure, and if you make one mistake, you're dead to me. The other thing is that Doja Cat tweeted, and I quote, I called a couple people faggots when I was in high school in 2015. Does this mean I don't deserve support? I've said faggot like roughly 15,000 times in my life. Does saying faggot mean you hate gay people? Do I hate gay people? I don't hate gay people. Gay is okay. Well, whether there's power in that word or not, you gotta understand that when people use that word, it's pretty much a like gun to the head. It's, it's over. That's a career suicide move. You understand there's been NFL players who tweets of them from high school have used that word and it's, you know, tarnished or sometimes destroyed their career. So before you say, oh, it's all right, I used that word when I was younger and I don't have any hate for gay people. You got to understand, man, Tyler, the creator who later came out as gay himself, got banned from entire countries from using that word. There's major consequences to using that word. So closing argument is that Doja Cat had the opportunity to stop racism when she could have and instead she engaged with it and now even as a woman of color is looking like a self-hating racist and I think that 
I wouldn't be surprised if fans and other artists and other people in the music community distanced themselves. The other thing is that you have this tweet right here that I think somebody needs to educate this sister on what is institutionalized racism and really sit down with her so we can get her full thoughts on this because Twitter kind of only shows one side and one complete, maybe incomplete thought in the moment and she just needs help. I think there's something wrong with her. Until we at least get an explanation for why, one that's mature and makes sense, I mean, I don't think we need to continue to support Doja Cat. That doesn't mean she's canceled. There is a chance to redeem herself here is what I'm saying. But uh, the other thing is that she said when her song with Nicki Minaj went number one, she would show her titties. We still ain't seen them nipples yet, Doja. So what's up? What'd you guys think? Leave a comment. Peace. Make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe. I'm an underground warrior out here and I got a lot more content on the way. Stick around.